Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this video, we're gonna see how we can make our files to be AR ready so we can import in Lens Studio. Augmented reality can bring your images to life. Instead of having flat image, we can add a depth to our scene like a diorama. We can even have things animate, like having the car and train move as they would in the real world. Lens Studio support images with PNG or JPEG file format. With that said, the painting that I have is in PSD file format, so we need to convert it to appropriate image format. You should use PNG when your images need transparency, otherwise you can use JPEG. Let's open the file in Photoshop and prepare our asset for using Lens Studio. Since we want our lens to have a depth to it, we need to have the house, car and the train as a separate image so they can be placed in different distances from the viewer. Luckily these pieces are already divided into different layers, but let's double check every layer together. I'm going to remove the frame layer first, since we don't need to have any framing since our image will stand on their own. Then let's remove the background layer since we don't want to occlude the camera feed with the background. Later in this series, I will show you a trick to blend the art with camera feed so it looks more seamless. Now let's take a look at the clouds layer. As you can see, all the clouds are in one layer. Since we want to place and move the clouds individually, we need to create a layer for each single cloud. To do that, you can use lasso tool in Photoshop and select the clouds, then press Command Shift J to create a new layer with the selected object. Let's do the same step one more time to create a different layer for the other cloud. Now, you can see each cloud has its own layer. Great! Let's continue and check the other layer. Let's bring the train into the canvas so we can make sure when we export the file it won't get cut off since we want to make the train move across our scene. Lastly, if you look at the steam layer, it's kind of fixed. We can bring it to life by animating them. There are several ways that we can have an animated smoke. In this example, we will use the particle system in Lens Studio to create the smoke effect. Let's delete all the steam layer here and create the new layer. What I'm gonna do now is to imagine what one particle of the smoke gonna look like. I think we can have a small white circle to use as our particle texture since if we have a bunch of circles stacked together in a cluster, they sort of form a smoke shape. The reason behind the white color is that this will allow us to later on change the color dynamically using Lens Studio. Okay. Now we're all set to export each layer to PNG. To do that, select File, Export, and then select the Layers to File. This will open a new window. In this page, first make sure the file type is set to PNG. And then make sure Transparency as well as Trim are both checked. Then set the destination. I'm gonna select my desktop and create a folder called Texture and hit the Open button. Then click on run. This will now trim each layer to the exact size of the layer and then save each layer as a PNG file format. I'm gonna wait till the process is finished. Now that we have layer exported, let's go and check the files together. It looks cool, right? I'm gonna do a clean up to the file name and see you guys in the next video where we will see how we can import the content into Lens Studio and make our first lens as well as how we can publish our first lens. See you guys in the next video.